We were actually one of 75 U.S. libraries to be awarded the NASA at My Library grant and we're the only one in the state of Alabama. And part of that grant allowed us to become um, certified to hold lunar and meteorite samples. So we borrow them a couple of times a year from the Johnson Space Center. So the meteorites here, they're actually several different samples that were found from all over the world, including Antarctica, Mexico, Africa, Kansas. Um, and they're just a little bit sample size. And the great thing about NASA is they loan them out um, in kits of 200. So there's, um, they cut them up and then break them around and send them out to the schools. Um, so these are the actual moon rocks. And the neat thing that they've done is they've included some soil samples as well. So their soil is really dust and kind of dust-like fine powder versus our soil, which is thicker to hold and absorb nutrients. fortunate that we were on the list and we have the first one planted in Birmingham and it's the only moon sycamore left in the state. When I go to schools I ask them you know how much do you think these are worth and they yell out crazy numbers like one million, one billion and I say they're actually priceless because scientists and astronauts gave their lives for us to go to the moon to get them and so as a, um, a way to extend that research and education NASA lends them out.